Tonight, a boyhood friend of Jacob Wetterling is sharing what he told investigators shortly after Jacob's kidnapping, that a man in a blue car had chased him just a month earlier. Do you think it was Danny Heinrich? I, yeah, I do. Adam Klopaki's story is part of a lawsuit that accuses Wetterling investigators of focusing on the wrong guy. Klopaki thinks his information could have nabbed the real kidnapper, Danny Heinrich, much sooner, for the first time tonight on television. He spoke with Esme Murphy about his frustration as the case went unsolved for nearly 27 years. It never made sense to me that he had never been here before. It just wouldn't, it just doesn't add up. Back in 1989, Adam Klopaki was 14 and a friend of Jacob's. We, we both love sports, so. Adam's story of what happened to him and a 12-year-old friend six weeks before Jacob was taken on the same street walking home from the same convenience store is now a major section of a lawsuit against three key Wetterling investigators. As the two boys walked down this street in September of 1989, a speeding car began following them. He seems like he's doing 60, 70. We're, we started running. They ran into Adam's friend's open garage and cowered there as the car pulled in and sat there, its high beams pointing at them. We're just sitting in the, in the driveway, You're like, what's going on? You know, this is crazy. And then he backed up into that person's driveway. The car stayed several minutes and then left. Days after Jacob's abduction, they and their parents went to Wetterling Investigators. Again, that we give a good description of the car, a good description of the man driving the car, and that we could identify him in a lineup. The boys did not know it then, but the car they described would end up matching the description of the blue Ford EXP Danny Heinrich drove the night of Jacob's kidnapping. And in 2015, when Adam finally saw his 1989 statement to Wetterling investigators, he was stunned to see his description of the driver match that of Danny Heinrich. Do you think it was Danny Heinrich? I, yeah, I do. Despite the fact that Danny Heinrich was almost immediately a prime suspect in Jacob's case, Adam and his friend never took part in any lineup. For 15 years, Adam tried to stop thinking about what had happened. But then in 2004, he saw a news story. Investigators had a new theory. They had become convinced Jacob's kidnapper was on foot, not in a car, and there was a new suspect. We've learned investigators are again questioning an area school teacher. Investigators had turned their entire focus to investigate band teacher Dan Rassier. The televised story contained a plea from Patty Wetterling for information. And I saw no. Patty come on the news. That was the, that was the kicker. Was and so in 2004, Adam again came forward about what happened to him in 1989. And did you tell them you thought it was the same guy? Yeah. And what happened? I, I wanted them to come with me uh, so I could show them, you know, our route and what we did. They didn't want to do it. He says he was angry to see the same investigators he believed ignored him and other evidence take credit for solving the Wetterling case. You know, I see him all standing behind the lawyers, you know, when they are doing all that thing. And it's, it's frustrating. Adam says he gave a statement for Dan Rassier's lawsuit because he wants the Stearns County Sheriff's Office and investigators held accountable. Esme Murphy, WCCO, 4 News. The lawsuit that includes Klopaki's accusations was filed this morning by a neighbor once called a person of interest in the Wetterling case. Daniel Rassier and his mother want more than $2 million in damages from Stearns County and a state crime agent. Investigators dug up the family's farm in 2010. Their lawsuit accuses authorities of ignoring evidence that pointed to the real killer. Danny Heinrich ultimately led the FBI to Jacob Wetterling's remains near Painesville last summer. He is serving 20 years in prison for having child pornography. In a statement, an attorney for Stearns County said investigators were reasonable and the Rassier lawsuit would turn out in law enforcement's favor. Stay with WCCO4 News for continuing coverage of the fallout from the Wetterling investigation.